took for three Valium, two Paxil, and one morphine patch to take effect. 40 minutes. Never mind. <laughs> Never mind, I think it's five. No need to be concerned, I am okay. And I've got too many friends and family out here tonight for me to be nervous. And besides, I am a third generation Irish American. <laughs> And what that means exactly is that my drunk ancestors, with, yes! with their rosary beads in one hand and their lucky charms in the other, stumbled into a boat headed for Ellis Island, praying the whole time that they made last call. Well, they made it. And after, after the last stop, in the local pub crawl, they finally passed out in Elizabeth, New Jersey, which is my hometown, a town chock full of Irish and plenty of taverns. And thanks to my kin peeps, this part of New Jersey became the inspiration for AT&T's latest cell phone logo, more bars in more places. where I go, who I'm with, somebody will always tell me that I remind them of Ellen DeGeneres. And I don't see the connection. I, I really don't see what they're seeing. But the one connection that I do have with Ellen is that I dated a guy who looked like her. And he had man boobs. And they were quite perky. <laughs> to this day, I'm still dealing with that guilt, by the way. Thank you. Well, he broke up with me first. He said he didn't want a wife. And I thought to myself, woo, what a relief, because this girl didn't want one either. <laughs> you know, women from all walks of life will agree that when it comes to retail products, we're just downright fickle. We can't settle on one of anything. And you men know what I'm talking about. Because you can take a complete shower with just one bar of soap, but you can't do it without knocking over all the bottles of our crap. And you know what, it's a good thing that women are not that fickle about men. Because if we were, we'd be sampling the first time they marketed a fat-free guy who could diminish wrinkles, relieve vaginal itching, and get, the, and get the job done in half the time. Am I right, ladies? So, I was out to lunch the other day with a few black friends from work, and I noticed the waitress had left us with just one pack of saltines. So I flagged her back over, and I said, can we get some more crackers at this table? <laughs> so she looked completely put out. She mumbled something incoherent under her breath, and she stormed away. And I thought, I'm not seeing those crackers. <laughs> but much to my surprise, she was back with an elderly white couple from Calhoun. <laughs> I 
I didn't have the nerve to tell her they were stale. <laughs> you know, this could be the Paxil talking. But I love you guys. Thank you very much. Good night.